In this video you'll learn how to make these cute Christmas stockings. They're great for just popping a few little gifts in and hanging on your Christmas tree or your mantelpiece. So I'm Christine of Christine's Crafts and this channel is dedicated to crafting on a budget. So what you're going to need is the template. Now don't worry it's available for free on my website. Simply look for the link below this video. And once you've got your template cut it out and then you're going to need to cut out four of the stockings. Now what I've got here is my lining material and simply pin the template onto a double layer and cut around it. That way you'll get a mirrored pair and then repeat for your outer layer of fabric. Now it's up to you, you could make the lining the same as the outside. I've chosen to use two different fabrics partly because it's cheaper and partly because it makes it nice and clear for you when you're watching this video. You can see which bits which. So you're going to do it for your lining and you're going to do it for your main stocking pieces. And then all you've got left to cut out is a tab so that you can hang your stocking up. So once you've got all your stockings, you're going to cut out a rectangle of your main fabric that in my case is six centimeters by 12 centimeters, but it needs to be four times the width and twice the length of the loop that you want. So to start sewing, you're going to take your two main Christmas stocking pieces and you're going to keep them together with their right sides facing and you're going to pin or clip them all the way around except for the top of the stocking. And that's what you're going to sew. You're going to sew all the way around except for the top of the stocking. You're going to leave that open. And once you've done this for your main two pieces of stocking, you're going to repeat for the lining pair. So sew all the way around as I'm showing you here and leave the top open. And make sure you finish off your seams so that they don't come undone. So you're just gonna repeat the whole process for the lining pair. Make sure you get a nice sewn seam round and the two tops open. And once they're complete, you've sewn them all the way around, it's time to clip your seam allowances. Now what this means is, take your scissors and clip through the seam allowance nearly to your stitches. Be careful, do not clip your stitches. Now I've sped the film up, but I actually do this very slowly to make sure I don't clip any stitches and ruin it. Now you only really need to do it around the curved edges just so that it lies flat but it will make a big difference to your finished stocking. So once you've done that, turn your attention to your hanging loop, your tab. You're going to fold it in half lengthways and press it and then open it back up and in turn, take each side and fold it to the center and press it. And then you can fold the whole thing in half and you've got a lovely little hanging loop. You've got no raw edges except for those short ends, which we're going to sew in. So then take it over to the machine and sew some nice top stitch along both long edges. And once you've done that, your loop is ready. So all you're going to need to do with it is to fold it in half and that will form the loop. So you can see how it just needs to be twice the length of the loop you want. So back to our stockings. The next thing to do is to take the lining stocking and turn it right side out. So just work it through with your fingers. You might find something like a chopstick helps, but just turn it to the right side. And then you're gonna take that stocking and feed it inside the main stocking. So we want them to line up. So you're just going to push it in. And what you're doing here is putting right sides together. And we want them to line up perfectly. Now you'll see me shaking it, working its way down. You don't really need to worry too much again about getting it completely in at the bottom because it's going to be coming out shortly anyway. But I just find I'm happier knowing it's all down there and I can't catch it in the seam. So once it's down there, we need to line these top edges up. So the best thing to do is to go to the top seam on the front of your stocking and line those two side seams up together. So I would recommend opening your seam allowance up just so you don't end up with a lot of bulk at one side or the other and line them up perfectly. Turn it around 
And now we're going to do the same with the seam running up the back of the stocking. So take your time to line them up and open your seam allowance up. But we need to remember to get your hanging loop. So this is the point where you're going to get your hanging loop, fold it in half and then feed it down between the two stockings. So fold it carefully, feed it down between those two layers and line those raw edges up and pin or clip it in place. So what you're going to do is sew through both stocking layers and the loop of your tab at the same time. So come along to one side and pin or clip it together and then on one side you're going to have to leave a gap when you stitch around the top. So I recommend leaving three inches because you've got a lot to turn through but apart from that three inches you're going to go to the machine and you're going to sew around the top of the stocking. Just leave that three inch gap for turning. So once you've sewn around it, you can see you're all the way around the top. We're going to pull everything through the three inch turning hole. You've quite a lot coming through here. Just take your time. You're going to bring the whole of the lining through and the whole of the stocking through. And it's worth taking a bit of time to get that stocking, the main stocking, turned through fully and get a good edge down there. So I'm just running my fingernail along that seam to make sure it opens up properly. And then get the stocking and once you're happy with that, you're going to feed it inside the main stocking because obviously it's the lining, it wants to be inside there. So you're going to push it down and then now you're going to again take the time to get it in there properly because this is where it's going, this is where it's staying, it's not coming out again. So just take a little bit of time to push your finger, chopstick, whatever you're using in there. Now you can see I'm shaking it to try and get it to drop down. And just do whatever works for you and get it down there so it's lining it properly. Once you've got it down there and you've got it all how you want it and do take a bit of time and make sure you're happy, it's time to close the top up. So I recommend that you go and press the top of your stocking so that you get a good crisp edge. Now I've done that and it's now time to close the hole. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm just going to clip it closed and then take it back to the machine and run a row of top stitch all the way around the top. And that'll mean that it closes the hole but also gives a nice finish. And there you have it, you've finished your Christmas stocking. So I hope you've enjoyed making them and if you're looking for more inspiration then please click on the video that's showing now and go and see if you can make yourself some more Christmas decorations. Enjoy your stockings, please remember to subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video. Thank you.